everyone. This is Marwa Abdelgalil welcoming you on our Relu Cairo Mentors platform. You're kindly required to switch off all your cameras and mics to reduce the background noise. Thank you for joining us in this presentation skills session presented by Anan Abdurrahman. Ms. Anan Abdurrahman is the founder of Relu Cairo Mentors platform or RCMP. She's a Relu Mentor trainer. She has got her bachelor degree from the Faculty of Education at Shams University. She has also received two postgraduate diplomas in English language teaching and methodology. She is preparing for TESOL diploma. She is self certified from the AUC. She has been working on an EFL teacher. Sorry, she has been working as an EFL teacher and instructor for 12 years. She was an NTTP trainee at the British Council. Finally, she used to be a member at the World Youth Forum and at the Presidential Leadership Program. Hello, Ms. Hanen, how are you? Hello, Marwa. Thank you so much for this nice introduction. Thank you so You're much. You're most welcome. Thank Highly you. Highly appreciate it. Thank you. Hello, our attendees. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you're enjoying, you are going to enjoy, inshallah, this session, inshallah. Hello, our uh, attendees in the live uh, session. <laughs> you can follow up uh, with us in the Zoom session. You will find our link, inshallah, on our page, Relook Iron Mentors platform, or on my personal page as well. Okay, I'm so happy that you are joining us today. Let me share my screen with you and start our session, inshallah. Okay, can you hear me well? If you are hearing me well, write yes or one in the chat box, please. Yes, that's great. Okay, who, who is the first time uh, to join us today? If you are uh, joining for the first time, type two. Hi guys, can you hear me well? Yeah, there are many people are joining for the first time. That's good. Yes. That's great, okay. Let's go back to our screen and start today's presentation. Sorry. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm so happy that you are joining us, inshallah. You are going to enjoy this session and feel free if you want to invite your colleagues or share the video with them. Yes, okay. Uh, I'm raising my voice, okay. Can you hear me well? Is it clear for you all? Type on in the chat box if it's clear. Yes, that's great. Okay. Yes, thank you. Firstly, uh, as Marwa told me, told you about myself, uh, actually, I have a mixture of experience, so I'm so glad to share it with you today. But before I start, I want to give a very, you know, uh, a lot, a lot of thanks to our icons. Uh, Ms. Hanat Sudan and Mr. Micah, uh, the icons of Rilo Cairo, actually um, without them, we wouldn't be here, okay? We wouldn't have been here, okay? So thank you so much for every single, single support they are doing and uh, every uh, thing that they are doing to us to encourage us to, um, to do what we are doing now, okay? Thank you so much, Ms. Hanat Sudan and Mr. Micah. Okay, let's start today. Today's session is presentation skills. Okay, for sure. I don't know if you are following the presentation or it's not clear. Is the screen clear for you? Is the screen clear for you guys? Okay, so our session today is presentation skills. Where, where is it? Uh, where does it stop? What is the screen stopping now? I Who am I? Here. Oh my God. So it's reconnecting. Mm -hmm. Just a minute. I'm sorry for that. But you know, internet issues. We are 100 now, okay? So if you can't follow with us in the Zoom uh, room, you can follow from the live session on our Facebook page, Relocator Mentors platform, okay? Okay, let's come back. Yes, 
Our session today is presentation skills, as you mentioned, okay? And as we know that presentation skills is very important, not, all, not only for educators, but for every single member uh, all over the world. Uh, if you're going to make an interview, it's very important for you. If you're going to meet someone or you want to have a business or uh, do a sales or marketing something for something like that, it's very important for all of us and we're going to dig deeper all, in all these details. But let's start with our agenda today. We are going to know why presentation skills is very important for us. And we're going to know what are the formats and purposes of presentations. And then we're going to uh, most welcome from uh, Egypt here. Hello. Hello, Iwan. Yes. OK. And challenges and solutions, steps uh, of effective presentations. Uh, I actually like to divide it into three parts, pre, during, and post. Because for sure, it doesn't stop when you finish your presentation. And it doesn't stop when you start to present. It has many, many different steps, and we are going to, to see how. And then uh, we're going to know what are the do's and don'ts that we should do. In a, in a, through an activity. Then at the end of the session, we're going to have 15 minutes for questions and answers, okay? Okay, so let's go on. Okay, what I want you to, to do is to be ready, okay? And don't panic, on, don't worry if we have any technical issues, you know, the internet connection and something like that, you know, in Egypt is not that good, yeah. So keep calm and stretch your arms, and stretch your legs until I come back again, okay? Don't worry. Okay, so when we start, I want you to, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever attended or... Uh, done a presentation and you felt that you are not satisfied with and why? Tell me in the chat box, what do you think? Have you ever attended something like that? Or you? sometimes we evaluate uh, ourselves. Sometimes I, I feel that, no, it, would, it could be better than that. So tell me in the chat box and tell me why. Many times, why? What is the reason? Tell me why. Why do you feel that you are not satisfied? That's good. My English is not good. My, um, my first presentation, that's good at AUC. Okay, first time I did, I felt panic and worried. Great job. Okay, several times panic, panic attacks. That's great. It's very nice that I see that you are clear with yourselves. Actually, I'm so happy with these comments. Yes, because of nervous, yes, hesitation. That's a great, wow, super. It's a very, very important point actually to be clear with yourselves, to know the reason, to know why you, you, you are not satisfied with that point. Let us go and check what is today's target. Sometimes when you go in a presentation or uh, on a presentation, you feel that you are panicked or stressed or can't express yourself or can't talk or you forget everything whenever you entered or started. So our target is to move from this case, inshallah, into confidence and, um, you know, um, uh, you know, well, you know, confidence and good presentation skills, okay? That's our target today. So I'm going to uh, take your opinion at the end of the session. How would you feel after that presentation, inshallah? Okay, so I asked you at the beginning, why presentation skills? Why do you think presentation skills is very important for us? Would you give me reasons in the chat box? Why do you think is it important? Yeah, Samia said that she focuses on people's facial, facial expressions to convey a message, to show our proficiency, yes, okay, to deliver a content, everything must have skills, yes, to market ourselves, to express opinions, that's great. It motivates the audience, yes. Okay, let's see, I'm going to, uh, you're, you're reading somehow my ideas and I'm going to add a little bit, okay? So, uh, presentation skills actually is very important for our business. If we have a business, we should have a good presentation skills, okay? And it's very important also for us as educators for teaching and lecturing, okay? One more thing is 
that it's very important for you if you are working in sales and selling. It's very important. You can't market or say, uh, sell something without being able to talk and express what is the product you are talking about, okay? So it's very important how to convince others. And what, the last point is that it's very important in dealing and con, uh, feeling confidence in speaking with a group of people and communicating with others and so on, okay? Yes, to be specific and confident, that's right. Okay, so do you think, should I own superpowers to be a good presenter or to have a, pre a good presentation skills? For sure, yes, Hane, well done. No, that's good. No, yes, that's great. Sure, Let. okay. Okay. We have many no's and one sure and two and two yes. Okay, let's check. But no is the the majority. Okay, that's right. Actually, you don't need to have superpowers, or what do you think we should have? Yes, try to improve. Mm, yes, practice makes perfect. Muhammad Al Sharqawi. Yes, practice makes perfect. Yes, that's great. The skills, self confidence, trust, p passion. Yes, very good. Confidence and so on. Yes. Very good, excellent. Actually, what 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 uh, you know uh, makes all these things happen is rehearsal and practice. As Muhammad said, that practice makes better. You know, if you rehearsed well and prepared well and practiced everything in a good way, you're going to lead a great presentation. Actually, that's all what you need. Okay, so we have different formats for presentations. So let's check. What do you think about this format or this kind of presentation? Yes, preparation is the key. I, I agree with you, Janice. That's a great. Rehearsal is perfect. Preparation is the, the uh, and working on it. Yes. Who can tell me what kind of this presentation? Ah, what kind of it? It's huh? blah, blah, blah. What kind of this presentation? TEDx, stand up, public speech, inspirational, okay, TED talk. So is it visual or oral? <clears throat> yes, is it? Yes, oral and public, yes. That's great, yes, it's oral speech. Okay, that's good, okay. And what about presentations like these? What do you think of it? They are visual, yes, visual, using what? what? What do we use in visual presentations? What do you think? Pictures, yes, videos, audios, and so on, yes, that's a great, yes. So these are the formats of our uh, of presentation overall, okay. So now we are going to watch a video, okay. What I want you to do is to prepare your notebook and take notes with things that you see in the in the in the video okay and take notes with the key words mentioned in this video are you ready are you ready for watching the video do you have your notebook yes. and uh, yes. yes and pen yes that's good okay let's start i want what i want you to to to, to do is to take notes okay Let's start. Don't worry about the voice, it's not important, okay? Just watch and read the text. Yes. 
Yes, it's finished. Okay. So would you tell me from what you have watched, uh, as, you, as you see that they are all don'ts, okay? Things that we shouldn't do. Uh, yes, very good, Farah, excellent. They are things that we shouldn't use during the presentation. So what I want you to do now, tell me in points, what should we do? What is the opposite that we should do to make a, a successful presentation? Would you tell me? Hmm. Face the audience, wear formal, eye contact, dress formally, yes. Keep eye contact, watch the body language, make eye contact, yes. Be ready, yes, body language. Face the audience, the intonation, great job. Voice note, yes. Keep the phone, yeah, 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 that's great, <laughs> excellent, you are fast writers. Okay, to use, uh, make presentations sh short and clear, yeah, uh, short and clear, yes, rehearsal. Don't read for, for people. Yes, that's a great. And don't read from the slides. Yes. Be active. That's good. Well, well prepared, formal. Yes, blah, blah. Yes, that's a great. Super. Okay. Let's go back to our presentation. Okay. Sorry. So, the point is, <coughs> sorry. The success of your presentation actually doesn't come from the, 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 the knowledge that you um, deliver to the, the, the attendees or the audience themselves, actually. Or, or uh, it, 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 it's measured by the, the, what the listener himself, himself receives, okay? He doesn't only receive knowledge, you know, what shall we deliver to our audience as well? What do you think? Only knowledge? Do you think it's only it's all about knowledge? What do you think? Write your thoughts in the chat box. Feelings, excellent. Emotions, yes, great. Behavior, attitude, yes, that's it. Very good, excellent. Yes, that's good. Confident, yes. Reaction, experience, attitude, yes. Quality, yes, very good. That's great, okay. That's it. So when we start to think of the challenges that may face or may, uh, may stand as a hinder from our confidence, okay? What do you think? As you mentioned at the beginning of the session, I was so happy and glad that you, are, you were clear with yourselves. What do you think is the, 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 the major challenge in front of us to, to be it or to have a good presentation from this picture? Try to guess. Conf lack of confidence or fear. Yes, that's good. So, do you know that many people are, you know, uh, uh, are ready to, to die in a battle instead of making a presentation in front of audience? Do you know that this information, uh, according to uh, many surveys and many things ha that have been done? Yes, do you know that? Yes, it's a very important point. So, you know, many, many psychologists found that, okay, that uh, making a presentation is on the top of the list, okay, uh, of the top fears of people, okay, making a presentation or uh, facing audience or whatever, something like that, okay, is on the top list of the, uh, of the, of, of people's fear. Yes, this is according to surveys and so on. So, from your point of view, do you know that fear, how many, uh, tell, me, tell me guys in the chat box, how many times did you feel that you lose important points or important moments in your life, okay, uh, because of fear? Tell me, tell me in the chat box. Phobia, a lot, that's good, many times, yes. Regularly in the past, a lot, yes. So actually fear makes us flows a lot. So let's move to the, the next slide and discuss together. Why? why? Why do you think people feel afraid of making a presentation or they have the, feel, the feeling of fear at all? Why do you think so? Because of stress, shyness, novice, being novice and lack of experience, that's good, bad feedback, okay, people's opinion, Sometimes, yes. Cause of judgmental issues, yes. 
low voice <clears throat> it's about confidence or you are you are meaning me <laughs> do you hear me well <clears throat> yes yes okay that's a great so a very important point uh, is to stop with yourself and ask yourself why why do i feel uh, um, that I'm not confident enough in this situation? Why do I feel afraid of presenting uh, in front of others? To know the reason is the start of the, 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 the solution itself, okay? The first point, let me add to what you have said, is lack of confidence, okay? Or sometimes it, it's because of lack of control. <laughs> you know, some people uh, sometimes start present, presenting something, but they are not familiar with the audience, with the, or not familiar with the platform that they are, they are going to, to use. Or sometimes they are not familiar with the stage that they are going to pre uh, pre uh, present uh, or make a presentation on, and so on. Okay? So lack of control is one of the reasons. One more point is sometimes it's because of bad memory. So what we have to do here is to practice a lot and make our best or do our best, sorry, to, 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 to improve this point. So what are the steps to follow from my point of view, as I mentioned at the beginning, that everything should have pre-steps, during steps and post steps, okay? So we're going to start these steps, okay? And I want you to focus how can we manage every single step when we are going to go deeper in it, okay? The first step, okay? It's, it's all about pre, okay? What do you think this girl doing? What do you think this girl doing, guys? Who can tell me? in the chat box. Try to learn. She wants to enter, face her fears. Good job, Radwa. Excellent. She's facing her fears. This is the first point here, is to face your fears. Confess them and face your fears. It doesn't have, it doesn't need from you to fight your fears, no, at all. It's normal. We are all human beings and this is a natural feeling, you know, but don't exaggerate, you know? just face it, know the reason behind it and try to comfort yourself as much as you can. Okay, so understand and overcome your fears. This is the first point, to be honest with yourself, to, uh, to check or to evaluate yourself all the time and know what makes you feeling afraid and try to understand the reason and then over, overcome by some steps that we're going to say now. How can we overcome our fears? Who can tell me in the chat box? Be yourself, that's good. Good job, Muhammad Abdul Wahab. Yes, facing them, yes, that's great. Practice, preparation, practice, hard working, self-confidence, great job, yes. Work on weaknesses, yes, very good. Well, prepare, preparation, reading, organized and prepared. Yes, that's great. Planning and practice. That's good. Okay, you are reading my ideas, by the way. So we should change our perspectives. You know, those people who all the time are saying, oh, I can't do it. Oh, it's so hard. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so depressed. Oh, uh, you know these people, okay? Do we have any, any, any kind of these people here? Confess. <laughs> if you are here, just say type one. Oh my God. Okay. We have. Okay. That's great. It's good. It's good to say yes. Yes. That's great. Okay. So this is the, the most important point here, guys. Okay. To change your perspective. To change your perspective, you know, means the way you are uh, thinking of, uh, of the other things. How will it happen? thinking about your uh, abilities and um, how are you going to deal with things and so on. Okay, so let's check how, uh, what are the steps to change our perspectives. The first one is to turn our fear into confidence. It's a very important point, yes, and to be optimistic, yeah, optimistic yes, Muhammad Abdul Wahab, that's good. Turn your fear into confidence, then 
stop self-doubt. Don't say all the time, I can't do it. I can't, it's very hard. I can't manage. Uh, if you are saying that all the time, you will find yourself actually can't do anything. You know, it's a very important point. You are what you think. Put it in your mind. You are what you think. It's a very important point. Yes, self-encouragement. Yes or self motivation yes take smart risks yani don't 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 hesitate all the time oh um, i wanted to take this step but i'm afraid to do i'm i'm so af yani i'm uh, i can't do it no not now no take a step forward and do it smart yani try to to do it in the suitable time with the suitable abilities with the suitable preparation and everything will be okay inshallah okay share things you are passionate uh, passionate about yes like what you have said uh, many people i see in the chat box talked about passion passion is very important if you are doing what you love you will be successful inshallah so it's all about passion and as I mentioned, that you are what you think. If you are thinking positively, you will be uh, successful. If you are pessimistic all the time, I think you will bring bad luck to yourself. So change your perspective. This is the second point here. Then, <coughs> presence. What do you think of the... What if I, I did something like that? But I'm, I'm, I think I'm appearing as well because my, I have a profile picture. Okay, so what if you find the black icon in front of you instead of my uh, camera or something like that? Would you be interested somehow? Or you like to see my interactions and my facial expressions and my body language and so on? Huh? Yes, I see, yes. Sometimes you feel shy. Okay, we will check. Okay, that's good. That's great. Yes. Okay, so it's very important. And what matters is how you see yourself. You see, this cat is seeing herself as a lion. Okay, so it's our, it's your vision. No, no matter how, what people say, don't care about people. They don't bring you luck. So how 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 are you going to be, uh, um, to be present at the presentation that you're doing? Sometimes we feel that people are talking, but they are not. Um, uh, you know, we are they are not touchy, or they, we don't feel that what they are talking, or we we feel we felt we felt bored with their speech. So first thing is to smile. Yes. Smile, because your smile will reflect on your audience. Okay, this is the first point. Okay, number two, introduce yourself by name. Do you remember my name? <laughs> Do you remember my name? Write it in the chat box. Yes, <laughs> that's a great. Okay, very good. Thank you, guys. Yes, that's good. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Okay, so... Um, one more point is eye contact. I'm going to talk about eye contact here in the live presentations, not virtual presentation. In virtual presentation, for sure, it's very important. Like if you are going to zoom in and something like that, you know, or give gestures and body language and so on. So how, how can we deal with eye contact? in front of audience or uh, if I'm presenting in a conference and I have many different people that I don't know and I, uh, I feel shy or sometimes I feel distracted because, you know, in conferences, some people have other thoughts, they are yelling or they are feeling sleepy or sometimes they are frowning like that and when you look at them, you think that they are meaning you, okay, but actually they are in their own world don't care about people as we mentioned. So how can I make eye contact in a conference or, a, or in, a, in a presentation of uh, uh, which I have many people in front of me? Actually I have three ways, okay? Concentrate well in this point, okay? Because not many people know it. The first point, yes, that's good. Okay, I'm sorry because it disconnected from my side. I come back quickly, alhamdulillah. Yes. Alhamdulillah, it happened. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> 
Okay, so uh, I'm going to go back to what I said here. Uh, it's, uh, I'm going to talk about eye contact in front of uh, people, uh, many people that I don't know, how can I deal with it and so on. Okay, uh, if you are in a conference or making a presentation in front of people, uh, uh, of thousand people or hundred people, how can you deal? The first point for sure, after Yani, after great preparation of the, and after great rehearsal and that we are going to talk about is when you are standing in front of people, don't look at specific people or different people that you don't know about before. Just fix your eye on a fixed point, a far fixed point in the middle. You know that it, it seems that you are looking to them, but actually you are not looking to, uh, at them. Okay, this is a very important point. It will make you relaxed and relieved. Then you are going to make a deal with one of your friends. Okay, uh, you know, sometimes we have friends that are supportive to us and uh, they, are, they give us uh, support all the time. I, I, I know one of my friends who whenever she sees me, uh, she smiles at me, okay? She gave me power, actually. So uh, someone like, that, like this, I'm going to take her with, her with me in any presentation I'm going to do, because when I look at her, I feel, uh, I feel confident and I feel comfort, actually, because her smile makes me happy and relieved. So look at people who are familiar to you. Then you will find that you خلاص, and you get used to the situation and you're going to contact with people and uh, go on and uh, the, the, the situation will pass quickly, inshallah, yani without any problem. If you are preparing well and we are going to talk about these points, inshallah, in, detail, in details in the coming uh, slides. Okay, one more point is, as we mentioned, that uh, not only knowledge that the people or the audience want from the presenter, actually the, uh, the presenter should be everything for the audience. He should be energetic, enthusiastic, conf uh, con confident, committed, he should be on time, you should uh, have uh, adaptability and to be well organ organized and so on, yani all the good all the good things you can imagine should be in you, okay? Yes, well planned and so on. Yes, that's good. So, how can I increase my confidence and control over the situation? As we mentioned that one of the reasons uh, of fear is lack of confidence and control. What do you think, guys? Write your thoughts in the chat box. How can I increase my, my, my confidence? to raise my voice or shall I talk all the time with the same tune? Ayman, what do you mean by voice? Huh? What do you mean by voice, Ayman? So tell me, how can I, yes, performance, okay. Change your tune, that's great. Yes, change your tone and attitude, vary your voice, keep calm, yes. That's good. Intonation, okay, how can I, Let's go back to our question, but it's enough. Uh, it's enough about voice. So, how can I increase my confidence? Preparation and the performance. That's a great. Prepare well. That's good. Okay. Relaxing rehearsal. That's a great. Practicing dress dress well. Okay. Ask the audience what they have understood. Yes. To be positive. Yes. That's a great. Good answers, guys. So let me share with you some steps that lead to each others or they are from my point of view they are built upon each others if i if i missed one of them i think we're going to lose control over our confidence okay so the first point is preparation and rehearsal preparation and rehearsal this is the first point guys so if i prepared well it will lead to it will it will lead me to confidence. If I'm preparing well, خلاص, I don't care about anything. I don't care about anybody. I go, I'm preparing well. I'm, I have read a lot about this topic. I covered it all. Uh, if someone come and ask me any question, I'm, I'm gonna answer him clearly. Okay, so my confidence will increase. Then I'll be calm. I'll feel calm, guys. So uh, it will lead to calmness. And if you are calm, you will have no fear, which leads to fearlessness, leads to huh, success. 
fearlessness leads to success. Put it in your mind and make it as a key point that if you, as we mentioned at the beginning of the session, that fear makes you lose many things. But fearlessness huh, leads to success and satisfaction for sure. And all these things makes you controlling your A confidence in a good way. That's good. One more point is to take some ANSPO. You know what is ANSPO? Write in the chat box. Have you heard this uh, expression before? It comes from a word. Huh? N? Hello? Can you hear me? Someone Hi. is writing inspiration. Yes, good. Very good to Kala, yes. Yes. Yes, Farah yes, as well. Inspiration, that's good. Yes, yeah. take some ANSPO. How can I increase? Yes, that's good. That's good. No, ANSPO means to take inspiration from others. How can I take in, or how can I inspire myself? Let, let me tell you. Okay. Yes, okay. We can actually watch, watch successful talks or speeches. And when we attend the conference, guys, don't attend something like that and just attend like a student. You know, no, put yourself in the presenter's shoes, okay? And think, think if you are him or her, what would you do in this situation? How can you control if you are in, in, in his shoe, okay? So watch his body language, it's very important, okay? This is one point. And watch his tone of voice, if he is using, um, uh, you know, one tone or he's boring or whatever, watch how can he react. But for sure, if you're watching any yani professional things like TED Talks and so on, you're going to learn a lot, okay? One more point is to, yani, to take care of what stands out and what are the speech bubbles during the, the situation or during the presentation that you are uh, attending. Who can tell me what stands out with you until now? Did you have anything that stand out with you uh, from the beginning of the session? Tell me in the chat box. Do you have any keyword like that? Something I said that uh, stand out in your mind and make you focused? Okay. Write your thoughts in the chat box. Observation of successful presenters, yes. Thank you, Mohammed. Rehearsal. Rehearsal, that's great. Face your fears, motivating people, confidence, that's good. Smile, yes, that's right. Thank you, Hane. Yes. Wow, yes, rehearsal, that's good. Okay, that's very important to you know, sometimes, you know, I, I'm I'm the I'm the person who likes that. Sometimes when, uh, when I listen to others, especially those people who I yani, respect and uh, attend to them sessions and something like that, uh, sometimes they say uh, quotes, like quotes, you know? Uh, so I, I concentrate with them and sometimes I take notes with these bubbles that they, are, they, are, they stuck to my mind a lot. And actually they change my, yani, my, my way of thinking, okay? One more point is to be critical. How to be crit critical, not for sure for others. Yani, and when you, are, uh, when you are being critical, to, you should have a good way of critical. How can we do so? After rehearsing and practicing, during this pr process, we should record, okay? Uh, what we are doing, okay? Because when you watch yourself, sometimes you get, oh, I, I should have done this point in a good way or in a better way. Uh, I, I, my tone of voice here is not so good. Uh, I feel that I'm so boring. I don't like this idea yeah, and so on. So you start to criticize yourself, yes, and correct yourself. So you, you would do better, inshallah. So sometimes, you know, one more thing, let your, one of your families uh, or one of your close friends watch you and tell you uh, his opinion. Uh, you will find that uh, working well as well. Okay. And rewatch re -watch the video and criticize it and so on. Okay. Yes. The next point is to know your audience. Know your audience well. 
okay? Uh, or you will have no audience for sure, right? If I don't know my audience, if I'm not sure that you are all educators or, or you are coming to attend, for example, a session about presentation skills, so what if you come and join and you find me talking about something related to mathematics, for example? Are you gonna be interested or uh, you are going to leave the session? Huh? What, what are you going to do? Are you going to enjoy the session or you're going to get annoyed and bothered? Yes, leave, yes, that's right. So consider the needs of your audience, okay? So for example, uh, you know, what, the, what do they need? What are, the, what are they interested in, their age, their geographical uh, areas and so on? Don't be so flat or dull and make your, make your presentation in a natural entertainment way, okay? And bear in mind that the purpose of the presentation should be you know, clear enough to your audience. One more point is to deliver all the info in a clear way, okay? And cover it. Preparation, preparation, preparation. Preparation is the key and which leads to success, okay? So while preparation, uh, during this process, we make a PowerPoint format uh, or a PowerPoint presentation. For sure, we didn't do it like uh, something, uh, I have an idea, so I'm going to create anything, something like that. No, we should search a lot and do things deeply and read a lot to cover a lot of points, okay? And to, because when you read a lot, it will highlight a lot of ideas in your mind, which lead to another one and so on. So. While preparing and after finishing your presentation, you should uh, take notes, okay, and make a, make a notebook, okay, which, you know, I'm going to show you something, okay. Wallahi, this, this notebook, okay, can you see it? Okay, this notebook. Uh, it's my friend since the coronavirus time, okay? You will find it uh, full, uh, full, yes, full of ideas since we started the pandemic and we started sitting at home. You know, it's, it's a completely, I mean, I'm going to go on a little bit so I can write it. I'm going to give Okay, so, yeah, it's fine to take notes. Notes make it better for you to remember everything, uh, especially when you are going to present in front of many people. You don't have to, to hold something in your hand and read from it. It's not the best thing, guys. Don't do something like that. Uh, or even you are online. Have you, you know, I didn't read anything from here. I just write notes, okay? Uh, and I remember it all by sequence but while I'm working with you. Okay, so, but I don't read at all from anything. I just make it as a key point to, to remind me during re, yani preparation, uh, presentation and so on. Uh, what works well is to, you know, sometimes for those people who forget a lot, okay, to take, uh, to make heading and bullet points to remind you what, with what you're going to talk about. For example, I'm going to talk about uh, the formats and the, um, uh, and the kinds of presentations, then I'm going to move uh, to the, um, uh, the steps of uh, good effective presentation, blah, blah. So I, I make it in a bullet point so I could remember it easily in my mind, okay? Uh, then, hello? Yes, it's clear, yes. Visit the room. Okay, when you are going to make a presentation in a conference or, or, uh, or whatever, okay, go to this room that you are going to make a presentation in, okay, and familiarize yourself there. Uh, try the computer or try the laptop, try the data show and try everything that makes you comfortable and confident enough to go back to this room, خلاص, it's my room. But I mean, I've been here a lot, so I know how to do it. خلاص, it doesn't need, it, it doesn't take too much time from you. Oh my God, I don't have to, I don't know how to uh, to make the cable or something like that. No, familiarize yourself to what you are using. If you are going to use Zoom as well, you know, each time for me, 
when I'm going online uh, uh, or something like that, I try my Zoom before I enter. Uh, I entered it, okay, uh, in another uh, in another uh, account. So I, I check my camera, I check my mic, I test everything. So everything would be okay when when we go live. You know, it's very important. Even you are an even you are an expert. It's a very important step. Okay, one more one more point is to time yourself. Time yourself, as we said, to record to yourself. And if you have uh, any extra information, you feel that it's not important, just skip it. Okay, it, it's not all about what I feel that it disconnected. Hello. Yes. No, no, it's going well. It's going it's well. Connected. Oh, my laptop, I think. Uh, yani it's going to ah la I come back alhamdulillah alhamdulillah and yani alhamdulillah rabbana bihabbana jidda ya jama'a wallahi alhamdulillah yes yes alhamdulillah huwa hanik dqiqa kada yani kan alhamdulillah rabbana yassir tamam um okay so as we mentioned uh, uh time yourself uh, and cut cut extra information uh, uh because um Yes, because it's not important to 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 get your audience overwhelmed with knowledge, without making them experience or having a good experience of uh, the situation itself. It's not uh, all about uh, information, as we said. Okay, so one more thing is to use visual aids. Okay, because it's very important. If you can see it, you can speak it. If uh, you know. Uh, these pictures or these visuals I'm using reminds me with everything I want to say in this point. So it's very important to use visual things. Imagine that you are using a text or a word text in front of you. You are going, you are going to change your, your presentation from an interactive one into a boring one. I'm going to show you an example now. Okay, and you're going to decide by yourself. Imagine that you are having these two kinds of presentations. Which one is better for you? To attract the, yes, the attention of the students and the audience, yes. Which one is better for you? The, the one on the right or the one on the left? The right, yes. That's a good. Yes, for sure. We, uh, we all prefer visual things. It makes, it makes it clear and easy to understand. And even I don't read what is written here. I, I got the message, you know, it's, it's all about that. But if you make it worthy, it's not worthy. Okay. So when we move. Okay. Yes. When we move to the next point, which is considered uh, one of the most important points to me, especially, I'm going to, to tell you a real situation. Just wait, okay? In the coming, in the next few slides, okay? Just wait and stay tuned. Okay, have you heard before, have you heard before about this expression, process visualization? Have you heard about this expression before? Amuse the audience? Okay. Huh? Uh, yay! What what does it mean? If you if you heard if you heard this expression before, just tell me what does it mean. You haven't heard it before. Okay, let me tell you. For example, while rehearsing, but I rehearsed, but and I found everything is okay, and my tone of voice, but Jamila, with Dania, Halwa, and the and the وخلاص بقى يعني انا حسيت ان انا بقى السوبر هيرو والجود بريزنتر في نفسي هعمل ايه something called process visualization what is process visualization for example say this quote in this way all people are going to clap out loud like this okay hi is it Ah, yes, 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 that's good. Yes, I feel that all people are going to clap out loud and all the audience are going to stand from their seats and things like that. Yes, no, it's all about imagining the situation and visualize. You know what the meaning of visualization, guys? So, guys, would you tell me in the chat box what does it mean? Uh, what does it mean, visualization? 
imagination, making a picture in mind, visualization. This is Sarah. Uh, Iman, Iman is saying, uh, imagine in the mind as if seen. Uh, mm -hmm. Imagination. This is Nurhan. Yes, that's great. Mona, so, mind map. Visualization. Oh, to see and imagine in your mind. Hmm. That's good. Okay, so visualization is creating an image inside your mind. So it's all about what, what about if I'm going on a process of presentation and doing something like that. So it's very important to visualize the situation itself, how people or how audience would react in this situation. How am I, how am I going to, to react during this situation? How will be my tone in this, uh, while I'm saying this quote or whatever, okay? So, uh, I can imagine anything, and you know, it, it's all about uh, self-motivation and to, to keep your tempo and to keep your, you know, uh, your, your, your situation uh, good, in a good way all the time. So, <clears throat> yes, say Anin, Anin Reda is saying your voice is not clear. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, okay, I'm trying as much as I can. So, yes, you give it's me better now. Ha is it fine now? Yes. That's good. Is it, okay. is it clear now? Is it clear? <laughs> Write in the chat box, please. Yes, yes. Nice? Yes, That's yes. Good. Okay. It's clear, but low. Yes, yes, it's better now. Yes, alhamdulillah. Yeah. That's good. So, guys, again, I come back. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> again, uh, when, we, when we talk about visual uh, or process visualization, okay, we, mention, we mean this point of imagining the situation itself. How, 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 how people would react when I, when I say this quote, oh, inshallah, that people are going to stand and uh, clap out loud for me at the end of the presentation. All these things create a great yani, image in, inside your mind. So as, as we mentioned before, that are what you think. Remember very, yani, remember these points and put it in your mind because you are what you think. This is, this is a very important point here. So uh, be careful. I'm going to repeat this slide in, 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 yani, in the upcoming two or three slides again because I'm going to show you a real situation that I paused. So stay tuned for this, okay? So I do believe, believe in uh, process actually. What about uh, by, by all what we have done? We finished the pre-process. And the, the last point, process visualization, will be repeated during situation, OK? So pay attention. We are going to start now. What should I do during the presentation itself? How can I react? How, what can I do? How can I attract others? And so on. Let's check. Actually, it's very important to arrive first, okay, and to be calm, like Farah said. Yeah, what Farah said, relaxed, excellent. Yes, what else? Committed, yes, very good. Yes, that's great. So, to be on time and to arrive early, to be familiar with all the equipments and everything around me, as we mentioned before, have a water to hand, hi, be bring your water. In, in, in beside you because sometimes when you talk a lot you you feel that your 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 throat is tough a lot it's uh, it's all about th things like that okay act confident no matter how you are feeling uh you know sometimes um people feel stressed or feel that they are panicked or shy i i yani, believe me if you don't care about anything and if you do all the previous steps and prepared well uh, and smiled at the beginning of the session and do every every single step that we talked about you, يعني, يعني, but you will you will break the limits okay so uh, and you will exceed the limits so feel confident no matter what happened 
okay and don't focus on your slips or your mistakes because nobody concentrate on what uh, you have committed but you because you are yeah you are watching yourself you are now uh, you will yeah uh, you will go to the the Uh, the process of watching yourself خلاص, I'm the only one who knows no I, I, I'm supposed to, to do it like that not like that because I prepared it like that so people didn't, didn't watch all these processes but we watched it as a presenter but don't care about all these things okay one more point is to don't apologize for things that you have done because as, as I mentioned that you are the only one who are doing so Plan B, guys. Uh, as, you, as you see now, I, I think I disconnected for three minutes. Do I have a plan B or or are you waited until I come back? Huh? Yes, to be ready with plan B. So, yes, I, I do have plan B. I, I know that my internet connection, for example, would do it uh, and uh, do something like that. I'm opening from my mobile from phone data, so I can I can handle it. It's very easy. Okay, yes, to to have alternatives and so on. So I'm going to ask you, what would you do in a situation? Uh, for example, you are sharing your screen and it doesn't work. What would you do? Yes, very good, Hane. Handouts, excellent. But if you are going online, what would you do? Huh? If you are sharing your screen from your laptop, what would you, and it doesn't work well, and people are not satisfied, they can't see what you are, what you are talking about, what, what would you do? What, what does the host do? Use a board? Maybe it's a good alternative. Okay. I haven't finished yet. Wait, wait a minute, Khail. Thank you. Uh, to log on, bravo, Alik. Yes, bravo, Hane. Yes, to log on from mobiles. Yes, uh, you know, so, yani, uh, for me, when I started uh, online, Uh, when I, whenever I finish my presentation, I send it to myself on Telegram on, and on Google Drive and have a backup, okay? So I can share my screen from my mobile at any time. If the laptop doesn't work well, so I have my alternative, okay? It's very important. One more point during is to adjust speed basing. Not, not to talk too much fast or too, too slow, just to let them take notes and so on, okay? And don't try to cover too much information. Don't stuff them with a lot of knowledge and information. And to be to the point. And just make sure that you are delivering everything in a suitable pace, as we mentioned, okay? Am I too fast or too slow for you? I want to hear from you guys. Do you feel that I am too fast or too slow? What do you think? Write your thoughts in the chat box. Huh. Good. Perfect. Thank you. That's good. Yes. Yes. That's all about that. You know, you know, uh, I'm not that perfect one. Yani. Alhamdulillah, I'm trying. Yani. But uh, it's all about this is what I'm asking you to do. When you do something, let others criticize you in a, in a, in a, in a good way. Yani after the session, inshallah, I'm going, to ask it, I'm going to ask you a question and you're going to write your answers in the chat box, but let me, uh, let it be on its slide, inshallah. Okay. Then take a moment to breathe to, uh, between each slide and the other. Like something like what I, I, I've done with you. From time to time, I give you a question so I can take a breathe until you answer and so on. You know, it's, it's something like that. Okay, for sure, I, I'm not going to say, just a minute, I'm going to take my breath <laughs> like that. No, it, it comes naturally, okay? Yes. Okay, then again, again, and again, the point that I believe in is it's all about using process visualization. It's about creating an image inside your mind, okay? The, about the people, well, how they can react in this situation and so on. Again, we are going to repeat it in the during process while you are standing in front of people and talking. Yani when, when, you know, while I'm going to say, that, I prepared it in the previous uh, stage or previous step. And I imagine that when I say this quote, people are going to laugh out loud. So while I'm standing on the stage, 
I'm going it and the smile and give a, give the people a, يعني a wait or a pause to let them laugh if they are going to laugh or to let them clap hands if they are going to clap because you are imagining that and they are going to make them do that. Do, يعني believe me, they are going to do so if you did the, if you did, if you practiced it well. We must be artists and creative is not a must. يعني it's all about practice. يعني but creativity is needed for sure. Sometimes the, the slides moved too fast. Okay, I'm going to make it slower. Uh, creating an image inside your mind. Yes, equal process visualization. That's right, Mr. Khamis. That's good. Okay. So let me ask you two questions and we're going to see the surprise now. Okay. I want you in the chat box now to ask to answer what is the maximum number i i asked you this question before but i think we have new attendees now what uh, what is the maximum number that you wish to make a presentation in front of them right in the chat box guys what is the maximum number that you imagine 220 100 100 1 million wow Omar, great job. <laughs> okay, you will be uh, uh, يعني, a celebrity like that. Okay, whatever. That's great. 700. Yes, great job. Yes, that's good. Okay, guys. So we have the maximum one, 1 million. <laughs> okay. Uh, so tell me in the chat box who uh three three hundred and dr muhammad khalil musa okay i'm going to tell him you are hadir okay that's good hadir okay that's good great job okay um uh, so tell me who is the most popular person that you yani you wish to make a presentation in front of him huh tell me my parents, okay, Abdulaziz Hamdi, you see, Dr. Ab Dr. Baha, yes, that's good. Who else? Oh, our opera, yes, that's great. <laughs> My supervisors, colleagues, management, Muhammad Munir, <laughs> yes, that's great. What presentation are you going to do for Muhammad Munir? <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Professor Noura Mu'in. Noura Mu'in is my friend, you know? Yeah. Sara, Sara Sharkawi or Sara what? Sara Sharkawi, huh? Uh, uh, so now I have Hadzir. I'm writing your, your, your wishes, guys. And uh, Sara Sharkawi. Uh, you know, Noura Mu'in is my colleague. She's a presidential leadership program uh, like me. Yes, Sara. Noura Ma'in, okay, I'm going to tell them. Yes, Hadir Fikri, yes, that's good. Great job, guys. That's good. Okay, so actually, um, I'm going to show you a personal experience, okay, that happened to me. Um, yani maybe because be before we start uh, this uh, show, um, yani it, w it was one of my turning points because it changed a lot in my, uh, in, my, yani in my personal skills and my, in everything in my life. Let me show you. I was lucky enough, alhamdulillah, to make a presentation in front of... Hello, guys. I think it disconnected. Marwa? Yes, I can hear you. No, it's not. Alhamdulillah, it's working. Yes. Okay. I was lucky enough, guys, that I uh, to make a presentation in front of nearly five thousand people. Okay, in a conference, and it was in front of our president Abdel Fattah al Sisi. And guess what? Because of process visualization and what I mentioned. I was, alhamdulillah, feeling confident and um, because I prepared, yani I prepared and I rehearsed and I do everything in a good way. Uh, I, I tested the stage before we started. I do, I do my best to, to, to stand like that. As you see, my body language, my, my confidence and so on. 
actually it was I was afraid yani I can't yani I can't mention that I'm not I, I or I was not afraid I was afraid but I tried as much as I can to control my fear because you know when I went diving before and I go down deeper in the in the ocean or in, or in the Red Sea. For some times, I feel that I was afraid and I can't take my breath. So I told him, get me back. He said that I can't go back. So I started to think for a moment. I have two options. Even to die because I can't breathe and take my breath. Okay. Or even to enjoy the, the, the moment of diving itself, yeah? So I, I decided from this mind, moment that I should, I should uh, enjoy my moment, okay? So from this time, I changed my perspective. I started to look at things in a different way. That's all about that, okay? Think differently, guys. It will make a big, big, yani very big difference for you, okay? So, guess what? You see this pen, okay? You see this brooch? It was one of my initiatives that we, we were presenting in front our, of our president. So, I have the chance. It's because of the process visualization again. So, when the chance came, it happens. I have the chance, guys, to hand it to our president, Abdel Fattah Sisi, by myself at the same moment. So it's all about process visualization. You know, guys, that while I was rehearsing, I imagined that, oh, I am sure that people are going to clap out loud at the end of the situation. Halas, I'm sure of that. So I, I started to put this image inside my mind. I believed it. I believed it. So after we finished, people actually started to clap out loud. And when the situation came, I take a permission and give him, although it was not yani, prepared at all, and I break all the protocols, but it happens. Yani, alhamdulillah, I was lucky enough to do so, alhamdulillah, yes. So it was all about process visualization. So again, imagine and visualize visualization and yeah, visualize good things don't visualize bad things because sometimes people visualize oh uh, the the light will went off the internet connection will be bad oh, oh, oh so you will bring bad thoughts to you and maybe it would happen you know visualization when you visualize bad things it happen but when you visualize good things inshallah it would happen so it's again about rehearsal and visualization Okay, one more point. It's during also, okay, during the presentation is to leave time for questions. I think I talked a lot, but I'm going to leave time for you now to, to uh, if you have any questions. Because, you know, questions is very important to make you satisfied, uh, satisfy your audience. And one more point, it will add to you that you are well prepared and uh, well, uh, uh, sorry, it will make you confident about your material. And finally, uh, if you find that your audience are already satisfied and they don't have, um, they don't have any questions, you should prepare something or additional uh, material to cover the time and to cover uh, or to make the closure of your presentation. Don't end, it, don't end it like that. For example, it's not the time for question, but I'm going to give you an example. If we are having now the time of question and answers, and you said that we don't have any questions, shall I stop like that? Or, okay, thank you, goodbye, yalla, hanrawah. Or shall we do what? We shall prepare another extra activity. And that's what we are going to do now. Okay, I'm applying what I'm saying, by the way. So here we have an activity, guys. Do's and don'ts to sum up what we have said, khalas. Okay, tell me, do's or don'ts, ignore your audience. Huh, write in the chat box. Hurry up. Do's or don'ts, ignore your audience. Yes, excellent. Yes. That's good. Prepare enough. Prepare enough. 
do yes very good 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 fast writers <laughs> excellent yes overcrowd your text don't yes good 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 yes very good don't overcrowd your text familiarize yourself with yeah, with uh, the venue and the equipment do 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 yes very good we have many do's yes avoid eye contact hmm. don't yes very good excellent fast writers the last one use effective virtual uh, visuals huh do's very good that's it and this is how you can end your presentation smoothly and in a good way Okay, but I haven't finished yet, okay? But I'm just acting like you're doing something like that. I just want to add one bonus thing, okay? From my own experience as well, okay? It's all about self-management, guys. It's all about self-management. How you're self-motivated, if you are you want to do so and you have the passion to do it and you are yani you are keening to do so you are going to do it inshallah one more point time management it's very important to control your time and to know what you are going to do and the plan for your ideas and plan for your schedule and so on and commit to a lifetime learning it's very important to because you know learning has never uh, has no limit so be committed to learning because even you are an expert you 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 have to yeah uh, update yourself the last point is to act like a professional acting like a professional is very important act like it okay and you will be inshallah a professional <clears throat> so as we mentioned you are what you think so dream good dreams be energetic have faith have power inspire others be passionate be, be optimistic don't be a pessimistic one okay it's very important to have all good things the last thing that i want to add it's a quote by del carnegie do you know del carnegie is one of the developers of public speaking and interpersonal skills and so on one of the most popular people yes so he said that there are always three kind of speeches okay the first one is the one you practiced okay the one you gave and the one you wish to give but i have a point here guys make the one you wish to give yani be the most yani yani sorry make the one that you gave be the most successful one try as hard as you can to make it successful and remarkable so when you come to the last step which is the one you wish to give you wouldn't regret too much you you feel that you are proud don't stop until you are proud okay so it's a very important point here to to put in your mind by that we have finished del carnegie his name is del carnegie I, again the slide again del carnegie yes d a l e not double l okay yes okay so i'm going to send you some resources by the end by, uh, yani in, within 24 hours now i have finished yani khalas uh, yani finally alhamdulillah i'm sorry if i took too much time uh, i just want you to to ask me if you have any questions and tell me um, your feedback and what do you think of this session give me an exit ticket before you leave Thank you so much. I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you. Don't write your emails here, guys. We are going to uh, uh, make a post for tomorrow's session, inshallah. Okay. 
So there is no question. <laughs> so I, I am afraid to give you an extra activity. So I'm waiting for your feedback, guys, on our Reloc Cairo Mentors platform page. So because your opinion matters, actually. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Marwa, for Thank you, your introduction and for your supporting for me today. Um, guys, before Thanks. we leave, Thank you, Maru. Before we leave, um, I just I just want to add one more thing. Okay, I don't know if uh, the screen is clear clear for you now or not. Okay, um, thank you for joining us. We are doing our best, Yani Wallahi, to to benefit you all, and to share experience with each others. Uh, as we mentioned, that all uh, the uh, Yani the events or all the Yani the you know, the, the events that we are doing are built upon a real experience, from our real experience. So we are trying to share things with you to benefit each others. As you know, we learn from teaching you. Yeah. Uh, so guys, um, we, would be, we would be so happy uh, if, you, if you left your feedback in our Facebook page because your opinion matters and makes, uh, makes us uh, built upon it. Um, so guys, um, don't forget tomorrow's session. It will be presented by Marwa Abdelgilil. Hello, Marwa. Yes, hi. <laughs> yes, so it's um, about, uh, yes, go ahead, Marwa, yes. Yes, okay, thank you, Anin. Uh, so I'm really happy to be here with you, and I'm really happy to find a lot of uh, enthusiastic teachers here and enthusiastic participants. Uh, so I'll be waiting for you all uh, for tomorrow's session at 6 p.m about emotional yes. intelligence and this will be presented by me Marwa Abdelgiris yes, inshallah. Uh, inshallah. it would be I'll one be of the most yani, 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 it would be yani, one of the most interesting ones that you're going to have actually uh, yani, all of them are very informative and interesting but you know uh, emotional intelligence matters a lot yani. I think it, it will benefit you all inshallah and Marwa yes. is one of uh, our greatest presenters actually Thank you so much. Thank you, Anin. Uh, so, uh, Thank so you, again, dears. I'll be waiting for you all at 6 p.m. And we'll be talking about emotional intelligence and its influence on our success in business and, interper and interpersonal relations. Um, yes. So how can emotional intelligence help us be better leaders and help us succeed in business? Uh, so yes. I just want you to think about it till tomorrow. And see you at 6 p.m. Yes. Inshallah. Don't forget, guys, tomorrow at 6 p.m., inshallah, we are going to wait you at the same time. We are going to send you the link via email. So, the form will be on the Facebook page. Don't forget to fill in your email. And be careful while writing your email. Don't write it in a hurry because sometimes you are mistaken in a, in a, in a letter and what, or, or, or something like that. So, we can send you uh, the email or the link. Uh, and feel free to share the links uh, and the sessions with your colleagues and friends so we can spread it out and uh, benefit uh, the majority of teachers and people all over the world, inshallah. Thank you so much for, you, for being here. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Mr. Ali, yes, would you say in the chat box, what would you, what you, what would you say? If you have any questions, just write it in the chat box, guys. I'm sorry, we can't open the mics. Someone is asking. Someone is asking you to go back to the side uh, to the side of resources. This yeah, is, we are uh, going to we are going to send it. We are going to send it to you, inshallah, via email. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. If you have any question, feel free to write it in the chat box, guys. Okay, before we end. And thank you for those who are following us from the, the live video on our Facebook page. I'm sorry we, you can't join us because the Zoom capacity is 100 and we, yani, it was full. Uh, thank you for joining us uh, from the live video. And inshallah, waiting for you tomorrow. Uh, we are going to write the emails in the form will be uploaded on our page at 8 p.m. Okay, Relu Cairo Mentors platform. Just to follow the page, Relu Cairo Mentors platform. Don't forget to join our Telegram channel to get notified with all the sessions and all the updates. Okay. Don't write the emails here, guys. Just fill it in the form. Thank you.
see you soon inshallah see you tomorrow tomorrow at 6 goodbye